professional fights is rated as the most impressive British heavyweight champion in the last 10 years. These are the men who've held the title and with the exception of Joe Bugner you could hardly call them household names. But Notice is building a formidable reputation. He's won nine of his 13 fights inside the distance and took the title from Hugh Roy Curry inside six rounds. And the referee's standing right on top of him. He won't waste a second if he thinks that Curry can't continue. He's had another good look at him. Look at that. It's seconds away from me. And uh, he's in now, Nathan. I thought he would be. He just tried to give Curry that little bit of scope there. Notice weighed in this afternoon at 14 stone, 13 and a half pounds. He's from the same Terry Lawless stable as Frank Bruno and is prepared for this fight in the same sparring ring as the man who's now the WBC's official number one contender for Mike Tyson's world title. Lister at 14 stone, 11 pounds is conceding just two and a half pounds to the champion. The fight represents a big step up in class for the local boy, but he'll have the crowd on his side for the first British heavyweight title contest to be staged in the North East for 84 years. It could go um, quick or it could be a long fight, you know. With the crowd behind Paul Liska, I think he's going to try all his best tonight to put up a good performance and it should be a good fight. I hope it's a good fight anyway for the people with a packed crowd here tonight. Yeah, it's a good atmosphere. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. We'll come back to Frank Bruno a little later on. But the question now is, can Horace Notice win a Lonsdale belt outright by making his second successful defence of his British title and, of course, at the same time defending his Commonwealth Championship? Or is Lister going to produce a major upset? Let's find out now as we go back to ringside. It's scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds. And here's our commentary team, as usual, on fight night, Jim Watt and Reg Gutteridge. So now, is there going to be a bit of history in the making here where the underdog has never fought outside of the Northeast can become the new British champion, or will Horace Notice win the Lonsdale belt outright? The first since Henry Cooper 18 years ago. And the bookmakers who judge from head and not hearts have made uh, Notice a very strong favourite. On ITV, we saw him winning the championship against Hugh Roy Curry in the Isle of Man. So he's got to rely on that uh, bit of a beam pole of a left hand jab now, the six foot three and a half blister. But notice is a solid puncher. Of course, he works with people like Frank Bruno and Gary Mason, among others, in his gymnasium. And there's a million people behind us here telling uh, Paul Lister how he should win it. Oh, well, that was the one that got away anyway. He's well out of the distance for that one, notice. But uh, I think by attacking from the start, as I say, he's serving an early notice, isn't he? Just scrambled into the floor there, and Mickey Van doing the right thing. Well, Jim, he's understandably taken it a bit easy in the first round of the stream. He wants to see what sort of power the champion's got. Well, this is a typical start from Notice. He likes to get the centre of the ring, push his opponent back. But uh, I don't think he'll have any trouble backing Lister up. I think uh, Lister must have planned a backpedalling campaign, tried maybe to get the jab working, work it at long range. I don't think he can match Notice for power or experience. So he must be planning and trying to steal some rounds from him. But he's going to have to be a little bit more positive than this, obviously. And he lost one contest. Uh... 11 listed but not quite in uh, the class that notice has been fighting but if uh, if being with the crowd can help well the crowd are certainly with Lister aren't they this is the first big occasion for Lister what he needs is some success if he could land a couple of good punches on target then maybe that would give him the little lift that he needs he's looking a little bit apprehensive at the moment it's a big occasion it's the first round his first 12 rounder so we can expect him to start slow. That was a good punch from him. Didn't trouble anybody, but maybe it'll give him a little bit of confidence to start coming out the shell.
He stalked all the time, I was noticed. He's a strong, hard man to keep off. 14 stone, 13 and a half. Just that little bit of advantage. 14, 11, Lister. It's a bit negligible, really, at this uh, weight. And there's the experienced corner, of course, and the run down there of uh, Horace Notice, unbeaten, and stopped nine, or knocked out nine. And the old firm of Terry Lawless, who's obviously back from pot with a win with Frank Bruno and Frank Black on the outside. He's now rated 14 by the World Boxing Council, Notice, in the latest list. Well, just being shielded there by one of the managers, uh, promoters. They've taken uh, their chance. They say, well, you know, you've got to stick the lad in and give him a shot. He may never get another chance in a pro since uh, 84. So out for the second round then of the first British heavyweight championship in this part of the world since 1904. No, Jim White, I wasn't there, but I do know somebody who was. Well, some of those nerves might have gone a little bit now, Jim, as you say, get the first three minutes over. Yeah, well, Lister only threw a couple of meaningful punches in the first round, and they both landed on target. So maybe once he gets rid of the nerves, settles down a little bit, and gets a little bit more fire into his work. Which I'm sure will come, it's uh, obviously he wants to be champion and there's only one way to become champion and that is beat the man in front of him. So he'll soon get down to what a little bit apprehensive in the first round but uh, I'm sure we'll see a lot more fire as the fight progresses. Bit of a problem with Lister, he's only really scored one knockdown against Ian Priest and he got over that uh, and Lister had to win on points. But he's, he's a persistent man, Horace noticed. Also for the Commonwealth Championship, this because uh, Notice defeated proud Kilimanjaro of a, in eight rounds at Dudley, and also Noel Corliss knocked him out in eight rounds at uh, Liverpool. And Corliss is here to watch this because he's fighting Hugh Roy Curry in an eliminator to fight the winner of this. going to need a bit more power to stop noticing his cut, Jim. Well, I don't know that if uh, power is on his mind at all. I think he must realise that when he looks through his own record, he's not known for power. He must be hoping for a points victory. But uh, he's not allowing notice to, to be very effective with any of his work yet. He's not winning anything yet, Lister. But uh, he's doing all right. He's keeping himself out of trouble, not giving notice too much target to land on. But they may be feeling his way gradually into the fight. Notice obviously looks tremendously strong and uh, he's a very fit, very well disciplined fighter, isn't he, Jim? Yeah, he, he's, he's a good uh, fight, good steady pressure fighter, just keeps uh, keeping at his man, tries to wear him down. I just wonder if, uh, if he's liable to become a little bit frustrated because Lister is very awkward. He's obviously thinking mainly about defence at this moment and uh, no, notice his punches aren't getting through as yet, maybe he'll become frustrated, but I don't think so. He's beginning to put the punches together now, just as the bell sounds. Well, there you are now. Everybody can calm down as we get the attractive rounds ladies going around and reminding the audience of what the round's coming up. And there's the rundown for Paul Lister's record.
Well, if he listens to his mate at ringside, Bruno, he's saying, come on, keep him busy, Horace, throw the right hand. Round three. And now a bit of an interesting championship fight we've got now because Lister's overcome those nervous two rounds, kept to notice try a little bit on the end of the left hand. There it is again. But will the sheer strength and pressure of the champion come through? A man who wants to call that Lonsdale belt his own. And believe me, there have been a lot of really good fighters over the years, and particularly heavyweight, who just haven't been able to win it outright. defeated Hugh Roy Curry, as I said, for the championship in six, and then Dave Garside in five. punch and then thrown over there Jim wasn't he no he's going to count with that one the referee seven eight nine he only just let, he left that a bit late because you can actually get counted out in the act of rising if he isn't careful I really didn't see a power punch go in there Jim yeah well the, the left hand seemed to come up the way but uh, Lister's back was too I, I thought it hit him in the chest but obviously it must have caught him just in the point of the chin but uh, it was certainly a knockdown Oh, he's lying into him now. Notice he's opening up in the third. He's, he, he's drawing Lister into a fight that will suit the champion. But Lister, with all the grit in the world, is going to come back. But he can't match him for that two-handed punch. Back to a neutral corner, picks up the count. And he didn't pick it up till seven and eight there, Mickey Van. He did well to get the champion in a neutral corner out of it. Is it all going to be over in the third round with the sheer strength and aggression now I've noticed but Lister gritting his teeth there fair dues but I don't think he can match him for strength Jim and uh, we're actually seeing his lack of experience showing up too he's making so many silly mistakes notice should be able to catch him cleanly he's dropping his hands he's, by, he's bending down leaving his chin exposed and if he goes on like this it shouldn't be too long before I notice gets through with the, the punches that are going to finish this just a lack of experience showing up now trying to cover up there with those clubbing punches at the back of the head there he's trying to grab on the way down a bit like a sailor grasping up with a mask and he's shouting in his ear there Mickey Van and it's all over I'm not sure whether he counted him out there or not or whether he just stopped it the moment he got up to but uh, whatever it's all over I think uh, Lister just took too long to rise. They did that in a couple of earlier knockdowns. He missed time, but I think he, he was fit enough to rise and to take over. Well, hardly breathing, really, notice. As I said, he's an extremely fit fighter. And as Frank Bruno said, he's a bit underrated as well. Um, uh, WBC number 14 and uh, deserves that rating. Jim, let's have a look at the finish. Yeah, well, we can see... This Lister, is the second knockdown, this, not see, the finish. Well, Lister, you can see the, the, the inexperience, the way he, he's jumping around here, pushing himself against. Notice, not getting really any leverage into his own punches. He was running out of ideas. A clubbing right hand came over, caught him high, and down he went. It wasn't a devastating punch. It caught him high. So this is the different angle now, Jim. We can see the actual finish. Have a look at that. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Lister didn't really know how to cope with the pressure he was under here. He didn't know what to do. It wasn't really devastating punches that put him over at any time. He seemed to run out of ideas. And in the end, I think he just... Uh, see, his head looks clear here. So there's the prized Lonsdale belt then. Uh, that, well, you've had one, Jim. You know what the feeling is when you get that round your waist. What's it feel like? Well, it's, uh, it took me a bit longer than it took notice to win it, but it's uh, you know very satisfying, obviously. It's a trophy everybody wants. 
There was about five seconds to go then at the end of the first round. A very quiet man, very well-mannered man, uh, Horace Notice. He left West Bromwich when he was four and didn't come back from Jamaica until he was 21. But fair dues for the loser. So there's a uh, representative, of course, uh, of the Port of Control. And uh, he puts the waist around, the belt around his waist, I should say, and he wants to quite rightly show it off. There was a time they even used to give you a pound a week pension with this, but they don't bother anymore, the Border Control. The fighters earn uh, much better than he did in the old days. And there's the champion then with Gary Newbon. You had too much power for him in the end, quite quickly in the fight. Yeah, he was a game fighter, even though I was hitting with some of my best shots. <clears throat> but he kept on coming back because he, had, he was determined he won the title. And then again, he has his crowd behind him, so... What, what was that first punch that put him down for the first time? Because we couldn't quite work out why he went down. I think it was a right hand that put him down the first time. Did it have that much um, power behind it? It could be a left hook, but I wasn't set properly to deliver it. Or it was I know he would never get up from that punch. Were you surprised when he went down? No, I know he has to go in the hand because I trained really hard for this one, for this fight. And I know even though he was the, the underdog, I couldn't underestimate him. But a disappointing opponent in the end. Uh, well, for him, but it was a uh, glory for me to win a London name about Hope Wright. Why, why don't we hear so much about you, Horace? Because uh, you've got your famous stable mates down there watching you tonight, Frank Bruno and Gary Mason, but we don't hear so much about you. Yeah, well, since they, I won the title, I had a, a crock rib, which pull, I have to pull out of two fight because of that. So they were boxing and the crowd was seeing them and they were winning. So you heard about them and you haven't heard about me. So. You're quite happy to live in their shadow, though. Yeah, I'm quite happy to win a London Temple Tour right. OK, let's bring in your manager, Terry Lawless. I mean, Terry, you've got high regards for this boxer who we really yes. don't seem to know local too much about. Local mayor for you as well. <laughs> yes, he is Birmingham, of yes. course. But he beat the local guy up here he in Chinese. Yes. Yeah, he's got to travel, you know, he's got to have guns <laughs> and travel. What, what do you think about him? Um, he's one of the most awkward fighters to fight, Horace noticed. One of the hardest punches, one of the strongest men I've ever met. He was, uh, I felt sorry for, for Lister there. He was in over his head and he didn't quite know what to hand, you know, how to handle it. The night was a bit too much for him, and Horace, you know, had to take his opportunity. It wasn't too tidy, but he had to do the job the best he could. We all know about Frank and Gary Mason at ringside there, but what about this guy? Is he going to be another super Terry Lawless heavyweight? <laughs> Thank you kindly. Um, well, he should have got the, the European nomination two votes ago. Yeah. Um, I understand that Damian is going to defend the title and then give it up. I think he's going to fight Tyson, so hopefully then he'll, he will get the nomination. OK, he's... proud of him tonight. Thank you very much, yeah. Thank Certainly, you. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Sorry. What happened there? You didn't just—you could have beaten the count if you'd been concentrating, surely. Um, I'll be honest with you. I never heard like the count. I thought I was okay. The corner's on the back of the yeah. That's what started it on the back of the yeah, yeah. But I was okay. I thought I thought I was a bit unjust myself, like. And I could have carried on, no problem. You could have carried on. So I let's get that right. You didn't hear the count. I didn't hear the count. Um, I got back the corner. I says, "Well, you only hit it." And Brian says, "No, you got the ten. I know the. Well, clearly it wasn't your night. You did look very nervous in the opening rounds, Paul. How nervous were you? How keyed up? Well, were you? I was keyed up, but I had to see what he had. You know, I was no good rushing in. We knew he was a big puncher. But I would say, I'll be quite honest. It was the only one punch I'd hurt as that was on the back of the year. But I give 100%. Right, we're going to take a short break, and then we'll be straight back with the views of Frank Bruno, plus the rest of what turned out to be a cracking bill here at Sunderland. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a few moments. Gee, right, right, Gary, right. right. Gary. What about that fight then? Your stable mate, Horace Notice? Notice? Yeah, he done a good job, but Paul Lister was a very brave and tough challenger, you know? Were you surprised that Lister didn't hear the count? Uh, at first, I didn't. I was. I wondered what sort of punch caught him, but Horace is a very hard puncher and he caught him on top of the head and he went down, you know? Well, we all know about Frank Bruno and Gary Mason. Yeah. Um, what about Horace Notice? Well, where do we rate him? Um, he's a very underestimated fighter and a very tough fighter, you know, but I'm, as I keep on saying, I'm not the producer and I'm not the TV people or the editors We're of the TV. We're trying to make you one and we yeah, to get cheers. your opinions thank, out thank of Thank you very much, Harry. Oh, Gary, sorry, yeah. Gary. So, so what are we going to... Where are we going to put Horace Notice I'm not then? too sure. I think he's got to get a European title fight because he's been waiting for a long time. He's been a ch British champion for a long time, so he's entitled to a, a European title shot. You seem to be very close to three of you. He, he acknowledged, yeah. during the fight, he acknowledged you right. and the things you were That's saying, right. and also Gary. I hope he gives me my 5% if he's acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> that, what were yeah. you telling him? I was telling him to throw, throw more right hands, you know, because he was letting the guy get more confident into the fight. 
Right, well, let's just talk about you finally. We all, we all enjoyed watching over 16 million people 16 on ITV. Million. Yeah, Fantastic. No, brilliant, it? brilliant, Harry. And, oh, Gary, Gary. sorry. And, and, sorry. A, and a great win for you. Yeah. But we don't know yet, obviously, where you're gonna, whether you're going to fight Mike Tyson. But a yeah. lot of people are saying, well, we all love Frank Bruno, but right. should he be in the same ring with Tyson? Should well, anybody be in with Tyson? I'm the number one contender for that title, sure. you know what I mean? And they said Tucker shouldn't be in there. Tucker gave him trouble. They said um, Bonecrusher shouldn't have been in there. So I think I've got a chance of going in there. You really fancy the fight? Yeah, I do fancy the fight. You may think I'm crazy or I've been drinking wine or something like that, but I do fancy the fight. Okay, and obviously the Witherspoon thing will be out of the way, out of your mind. Yeah, out of my mind. It's like being married, you know. It's like getting divorced and some you don't your wife's run away with you, run away with the milkman or something like that. It will always be in my heart, but it's out of there at the moment. I'll tell you what, this late hour we won't see any milkman around, but we have no, seen you tonight. Right. You Thank might you see very some much. Dustman or something <laughs> yeah, like we that. might do that. Cheers. Thanks ever so much, Frank. Thank you very much for having me on now. Cheers. Thank you. Frank Bruno, lovely fella, isn't he? Well, let's stay with the heavyweights. A cracking contest topping the undercar between the local lad from Hartlepool, Dave Garside, and from Birmingham, the Midlands area champion, Al Malkovich. Scheduled for eight rounds. What a fight it turns out to be.